Hey guys, what's up? This is your girl Kundai Karen Mangena and I'm back again with another video. So don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Also leave a comment down below if you enjoyed watching this video. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how I'm making this ball gown, this wedding dress, um, traditional wedding dress using two lays. So I'm just going to be taking you guys through the process. So you're going to need 20 meters of soft knit and 10 meters of hard net but after making this I actually realized that I needed more meters so maybe you can go for 20 meters of hard net and then 20 meters of soft net as well so right now I'm going ahead to thread my needle because I'm just going to be doing this gathers by hand I'm not using the machine you can go ahead to use the machine but the machine has a bit of problems if i change stitches and stuff so i went ahead to go use my hand and besides hey i rather use my hand so uh, right now i'm just going ahead to talk you know and really gather my skirt as i go so here i'm gathering the skirt i'm tucking the skirt and just make creating gathers throughout So I'm going to leave my links down below of where I got this Thule net from. So I'm just going to leave it down below where I got the net, where I got the Thule from. So I'm just working on a traditional wedding dress, a shoshi wedding dress. So I'm just showing you guys how these are made. So it's not completed in this video. I'm going to also have a belt on which has coins, right? Like a gathered belt with coins from the shoshi fabric. So I'm just taking you through this process just to show you how I start. So guys, I'm going to show you the whole process when it's done. So on this dress, when the client is fitting it, when she's now wearing it, I'm going to get that ball gown theme that's going to make it more fuller since the meters are a bit few, since it's not as um, full as I had anticipated. So today's scriptures are from the book of Proverbs chapter 3 verse 5 and it reads trust in the Lord with all your heart do not depend on your own understanding seek his will in all you do and he will show you the path which you are to take and do not be impressed with your own wisdom instead fear the Lord and turn away from evil. So I love the first part which tells us to trust the Lord with all our hearts, you know. It is our requirement to put our trust in the Lord at all times, you know, no matter what we are going through, whether we understand or we don't understand, your position is to put your trust in the Lord. So just to cut that shortly, um, here I'm just going to be making sure that it is my the required waist length so i'm just going to rush until it's the required waist length and just make sure that it's 30, 30 inches sorry because that's the waist length i'm working with so it's going to be 30 inches all right so as i was saying you have to make sure that in everything you do you trust the Lord with all your heart and do not depend on your own understanding. You know? When you depend on your own understanding, it lacks, right? Because there are certain things that you will never understand. And when you use your own understanding, they become, they become vain, right? 
So also, I also love the part that he says, seek his will and all you do, and he will show you which part to take. This is a part of the scripture that I love, and it constantly tells me to seek his will, seek the will of God in every single thing that I desire to do. You know, it could be choosing between two jobs, you know, you've got so many options to take, but the word of the Lord says, seek the will of God in all you do, and I love the fact that it says it on all you do, because because most times people begin to seek the will of God when they now want to get married. They want to know who's this, who's going to be my life partner, etc. But when you seek the will of God in everything you do, you already have room for a relationship with God where he will tell you this is what you're supposed to do, this is not what you're supposed to do. So seek his will in everything you do and he will show you the path which you are supposed to take he will direct your steps he will show you what you're supposed to do so i love the scripture i love it so much i meditated i meditate on it a lot because it really really empowers me it really motivates me so here i'm now working on gathering the soft lid so i'm just going to repeat the same process i did on the hard lid which is to just gather and make sure that um I get the waist length that is required which is 80 inches so you can put your own waist length so um, verse 7 says do not be impressed with your own wisdom instead fear the Lord so I love how this whole three scriptures they interlink like at first we're taught to trust in the Lord with all our hearts and not to depend on our own understanding and then we're also taught to seek his will in everything we do and he will show us the path we are to take. And then on the third part, it says, do not be impressed with your wisdom. Like, hey, don't be impressed with your own earthly wisdom, acquired wisdom. But fear the Lord and turn away from evil. And from evil, I mean. Because we know that the fear of the Lord is beginning, is the beginning of all wisdom. You know, your earthly wisdom is less profitable. So when you begin to fear the, the fear the Lord, you know, and turn away from evil. It profits you because the fear of the Lord is the beginning of all wisdom. So here I was just trying to try it out. So now I'm just going ahead to stitch what I had already gathered just to get it into position, just in case that thread breaks. But to ensure that it doesn't break when I was tucking it, when I was braiding it, I double threaded it says that it's very strong. So here I'm just going ahead to talk. Not talk, sorry. I'm just going ahead to stitch it. And that's the hard knit. So now I'm going ahead to stitch the soft knit. Like really stitch it in position. So what's the scripture that you guys are meditating on of late? What is it? Do you share with me? Leave it on the comment section down below. I would really love to know. So you have to be really quite careful when handling the soft net compared to the hard net. The hard net is a bit stronger and it's a bit easier to work with compared to the soft net.
So in this part, I'm just going to be using her as my mannequin. So what I just did was to pin it at the back, you know, just to get into position to see if I like the design. So the dress is not yet complete because I'm also going to put a tulle and to strap it. And so I'm going to show you guys what it will look like on part C. So do stay tuned. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. So I'll also insert a design picture of how the dress is going to be looking like. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. And have a blessed day.